Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ami, and today I'm going to be filming a video on my absolutely favorite topic of all time, and that is vitamin C. So vitamin C is my absolutely, like, one of my top favorite skincare um, ingredients. It's up there with retinol and lactic acid. I just feel like it's a must-have. I love it. Um, I wish I was, like, literally born with this slathered on me, like, and used it as a child, like, throughout my life. It's just so, like... It's amazing. It helps keep my skin bright. It helps keep my skin protected from like the sun. Um, so basically there's a study that stuck out to me and it could probably help you guys remember how important it is as well um, and stick with you as well. So basically a study happened. I'll try to post a picture here somehow or the study down below. Um, where a doctor, a dermatologist, um, and Shereen Idris has done this before as well on her channel. Um, but if you, sl she slit an apple in half, in half of the side, half of the apple, she put vitamin C serum, and the other side of the apple, she didn't put vitamin C serum, and the side that didn't have vitamin C actually oxidized and turned brown. And then the side that did have vitamin C um, actually stayed intact and stayed white and healthy looking. Um, and this is just within like a couple minutes, like hours or whatever. Um, so it's really important. It helps keep your skin like healthy, and if and it's a great like anti-aging ingredient if you want to um, start incorporating this in your um, routine. Yeah, um, I'm gonna first talk to you guys about Skin Suticles SE Ferulic. This is like a holy grail for many like dermatologists. A lot of dermatologists actually love this product and they use it in their routine. I'll link an article down below that I absolutely love. It's an article with dermatologists and their skincare routine and the products that they use. I always go back to that article whenever I'm at Target like, and I'm trying to find a cleanser. I'll just go to that article and find something there because I know it'll work. Um, so basically in that article, a lot of the dermatologists, like not one or two, like I think three or four of them all use this vitamin C serum. So you know what? Me being like a huge like skincare fanatic, I went ahead and purchased the SkinCeutical and, and more of their products. I actually started using retinol with their 0.5 retinol and their, um, I also use their sunscreen as well. Um, so basically I'm a huge, a huge fan of SkinCeuticals. So this product is actually $166. I'm sorry, but if you're not making like that doctor money, that dermatology money, this is way too expensive to constantly be buying because it oxidizes so fast. Uh, vitamin C serum doesn't last very long, I think four or five months, if you even, if that, if that. Um, so it oxidizes really fast and when it oxidizes, it's actually an oxidized bottle. Um, so it turned that color, which it turns like an orangey color when it's oxidized. So for something that's not gonna last like a long time, um, it's not worth paying the $165. But the ingredients on here are amazing. So it does have 15% ascorbic acid, it has vitamin E, it has ferulic acid, and it has hyaluronic acid in it. The thing is, um, I thought this was like one of like the only few products that had all these ingredients, but over time many like indie like companies or a lot of companies now have made products to dupe this and I found one in an article and I gave it a try and that is May Love. So basically May Love was created by a bunch of MIT um, scientists, a bunch of derm doctors, a dermatologist and all that good stuff. It's a great like product uh, it's a great product and a great company they have the same business model as ordinary making great ingredients but at an affordable cost um, and all that jazz so basically this product is has the absolutely the same ingredients on here they both have are 15 percent ellascorbic acid they both have vitamins uh, e and ferulic acid and hyaluronic acid in them um, this actually, the glow, the glow maker actually has a little bit more ingredients than this one. Um, this one has also aloe and I believe grapeseed extract in it and just a much more ingredients like botanical ingredients to help like soothe your skin, hydrate your skin and make it really and help for it with like makeup application just because it gives you like a, that nice glow. Um, so this product is actually $27.85, so almost 28 bucks. Um, wow, I can't believe I memorized the change on that. So this is, you know, 28 bucks, and this is $166. There's just like, without a doubt, I had to give this product a try. 
So I went and started using this product, you know, when I was like almost done with this one. And I absolutely love this product. Um, I actually feel like it's a lot more hydrating and it could be because of the fact that it has like aloe and grapeseed extract and a bunch of other like soothing ingredients in it. So the next thing I wanna do is just dive in deeper as to where these magical ingredients are listed on their ingredient list. Um, so for l ascorbic acid, which is the vitamin C, it is third in SkinCeuticals and it is second in May Love. For vitamin E, it is in the eighth ingredient on SkinCeutical and it is the ninth ingredient on May Love. For ferulic acid, it is the tenth ingredient on um, SkinCeutical and it is the twelfth ingredient on May Love. And then for hyaluronic acid, it is a 12th ingredient on SkinCeutical and it is the seventh ingredient on May Love. That could be the reason why it's really hydrating. Um, so yeah, so the ingredients are there. They're fairly around the same area um, in, the, in the list. And I honestly think that May Love is just a little bit more hydrating for me. Um, and it also has the vitamin C on the second ingredient. So it could be even, even more brightening or um, in my opinion. So if you do, if you are already using SkinCeuticals, I recommend giving May Love a try. It's 27 bucks, like why not give it a try and see if you can save a, a couple bucks. Um, and then if you are looking for a vitamin C serum that is super like hydrating and brightening, I recommend trying the May Love. Um, SkinCeuticals is just way too expensive, but if you have that doctor money, then go for it, girl. Buy it, or, or guy, <laughs> um, then go for it, of course. Like if you have the money, go ahead and splurge on that. Uh, it's a luxury brand. It's so my overall view on both of them is that I love both because they're great. If they were the same price, I would probably keep buying both. Like I would just alternate, but they're not the same price. But if you do have like that doctor money and you're, you know, you can spend the extra money, then of course, SkinCeutical is great. Uh, but you know, I'm like, I'm a huge ordinary, like, fanatic and I really appreciate their business plan making ingredients affordable and so I will always go with the May Love now that I know that there is an ingredient out there that it, uh, there is a product out there that has the similar ingredients um, I recommend May Love 100% without a doubt it is great if you're looking for a hydrating and brightening vitamin C serum that you can use every day and not worry about like being so like like fragile like with this I was literally like counting the drops because it was so expensive and with this I'm just like slather it well like not really but you know what I mean like I don't I don't mind like it using more of it every day which will in in return like be more helpful for my skin because I'm using it every day and more of it or whatever whereas this I feel like I, I was just using like one drop and like it just wasn't enough um, so yeah, I highly recommend using, uh, giving this a try. Um, I have tried other vitamin C serums like the Mad Hippie one. I didn't really like that one. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it has like um, all these other, the, all these top ingredients on it, but I wasn't a fan. So that is my thoughts on both of these amazing products. If you found this video helpful and informative in any way, give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see similar videos to this one, subscribe to my channel. I am actually trying to reach 100 subscribers by my birthday, which is on July 4th, which is a month and something away. So I hopefully you can help me achieve my goal. That would be great. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a good rest of your day. Take care.